What's going on, Sartorialist? Welcome back to the Holsey Style. If you're new here, my name is Barry Ramirez. Welcome to the channel and thank you sincerely for watching. Today, we are gonna be reviewing one of my favorite fall pickups, at least so far. I'm talking about Spear and McKay's Harris Tweed Beige Check Sport Coat. I'm gonna be talking to you guys about some of the things that I loved about the sport coat and a few of the things that I didn't so that you can make the most informed choice for yourself, whether you wanna pick up your own Harris Tweed Sport Coat from Spear and McKay. And with that said, let's get into it. So I purchased the sport coat for $498, or in other words, $500, and it took roughly two weeks for the package to arrive. Now I will say as a long time customer of Spear and McKay, still to this very day, it's irritating how long it takes for them to ship their products and also for them to arrive. Sometimes it could almost feel like their packages are being carried by horse and buggy. But I will say, given the quality of their garments and the price point that they offer them at, I feel like I can't really complain about the shipping too much. But considering the quality of the fabric, that 100% Harris tweed, that's new wool, the beautiful and unique check pattern on it. Also considering the cut and the fit of the sport coat, I think at this price point, 498, or in other words, $500, that this sport coat is a steal. I could very easily see another menswear company like J Press or the Anthology, etc., offering a sport coat made of this particular fabric for over $1,000. So I highly recommend it to you. But let's home in on some of the details of this sport coat. It is made of 100% Harris Tweed new wool that weighs 470 GSM. It has a half canvas construction and is quarter butterfly lined. On size 40, which is what I wear, it has four inch wide notch lapels and unpadded spalacamicha shoulders. It also features a barchetta breast pocket and patch hip pockets with a ticket pocket. It has non-functional cuffs, but it does have genuine horn buttons. But how, you asked, does it feel to wear the sport coat? Well, the fabric is 470 GSM, which if I understand tweed weight correctly, that means that it's an upper medium weight. 500 is considered to be heavyweight. So the sport coat is quite hefty, but it is not as hefty as I was expecting it to be. Actually, when I put on the sport coat, I was surprised by its apparent lightness. I would guess just holding the sport coat on one finger that it weighs roughly a pound to a pound and a half, but again, that's just a rough estimate guess. That's just how it feels to me when I hold the jacket by itself. I've worn the sport coat out five or six times, typically with a button down shirt, like the one that I'm wearing here, and a tie, a pair of high rise trousers and loafers. Sometimes I would actually layer it by putting a barboard jacket over the top of it if it were raining. So I've worn the sport coat out in a variety of temperatures and a variety of conditions. Temperatures ranging from the mid 40s to the mid 70s. And I'll say that in the lower range, you know, that 40s and 50s, when I was just wearing the sport coat by itself, if there was a breeze, I would very, very easily get cold. But keep in mind that for me, I tend to run a bit cold myself. So that might just be me, or it might be me just expecting too much out of the sport coat. But going forward for those lower temperatures, I'd very likely layer the sport coat with a sheet lint underneath it so I don't get cold if there is a draft. I will say that in the upper 60s, 70s, if I was just wearing the sport coat by itself, it was completely sufficient to keep me warm. As far as the fit is concerned, I would say that this sport coat fits great, but not necessarily perfect. So I think this is largely because I've changed the size of sport coat that I'm wearing from Spear and McKay. And almost all of my previous videos and pictures on Instagram that had sport coats in them, I was wearing a size 38 regular in Spear's slim fit. And while I think that worked for me pretty well at the beginning of my menswear journey, as it is called, I've since really started eating a bit healthier, eating a paleo diet and training Muay Thai a bit more intensely. So my build has actually bulked up a bit. So it got to the point where I could no longer wear any of my 38 regular slim sport coats. They were simply too tight in the shoulders, chest, and on the waist. So I reached out to Spear and they recommended that I move up to 40 contemporary. So this is the first sport coat that I've purchased from them in that size. And like I said, I think it fits great, but not necessarily perfect. So it's 
slightly tight along the waist whenever I try to button the sport coat, so I might have it let out at most an inch. And then I think that the sleeves could probably be brought up a quarter to half an inch so that I could have a little bit more of my shirt sleeve hanging out. So it is ready to wear. It's a ready to wear jacket, so I don't expect, I didn't expect it to be perfect, but I think this is as close to perfect as I'm going to get from a ready to wear jacket from Spear and McKay. Now, a few of you reached out to me on Instagram and asked about Spears' updated Neo Cut. So from what I understand, the only change they really made to the new Neo Cut is that they raised the armholes a bit, which are supposed to allow greater movement of the arms. So I will say that this sport coat does seem to have greater functionality as far as moving the arms, but it's difficult for me to say that that's actually from their cut and not from the sizing of the sport coat. Like I said, I was originally wearing a 38 regular slim, now I'm wearing a 40 regular contemporary. So I'm not sure if the greater functionality as far as moving the arm goes come from the size or the updated cut. Now my favorite part of this sport coat is the color and pattern. I believe the pattern is a Prince of Wales check, but it's exploded. It's much larger than the Prince of Wales check you would see on other jackets, which tends to be quite fine. So the colors that the check is composed of are absolutely magical. Very earthy, very, very earthy. So you have have an olive green, you have a beige, you have a brown, you have a kind of rust orange in there, and then you also have a burgundy, which really, really makes the check on this sport coat pop, that burgundy in particular. And for me, the reason why I love this so much is because it's very easy to incorporate into my wardrobe. As somebody who has red hair and red skin, I have to wear earthy tones typically or neutrals in order to balance it out so I don't look too florid. So this was very easily to incorporate into my wardrobe with the trousers and ties that I already had. So there you have it, Sartorialist. That is my review of Spear and McKay's Harris Tweed Sport Coat. If you plan on purchasing this sport coat or really any other sport coat from Spear and McKay, please consider using my affiliate link down in the description below. I get 5% commission on any purchases that are made through that link. So that really helps to support me and to support this channel. Also, if it's your first time making a purchase from Spear and McKay, you can use my referral code here in order to get get an additional 20% off. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this content, hit that like button, smash subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be informed when I drop more videos on the Holsey style. Until next time, guys.